What is up, guys? It's Trevor here from Financial Liberty 2020, your favorite investing channel. I'm here to tell you my perspectives and what I see in the market here, short term, long term, everything. So if you like investing, you like crypto, you like stocks, you're not going to want to miss this. So please subscribe and also like the video for YouTube algorithm. It helps us ton. So please. So thank you for watching and enjoy. How's it going, guys? It's Trevor here from Financial Liberty 2020, and I'm coming out with you with a stock today that is just an unbelievable stock. It ticker is GGTTF, and today it has plummeted. It has not been a good day for this stock. It's not been a good month. Up here, I have the year-to-date chart. Um, shows the growth that it's had just in this year alone. But when you compare it to maybe the past, you know, past month or so, past two months, it's really fallen quite a bit. And you can see that it grew substantially since uh, January, middle of February area. Um, and it is seen as more of a risky play within the stock market. It's an OTC stock. It's a Canadian cannabis play. Um, all of these things, you know, so, so it's somewhat risky. So it is selling off with the majority of the risky stocks that are in the NASDAQ right now. And speaking of the NASDAQ, you can see uh, this is the year to date chart. Um, you've got January in the beginning all the way to May. And it's, it's dipped quite a bit, you know, a couple times, all the way down to 12.6, all the way down to 13.05. Um, and now you're sitting at about 13,400 on the NASDAQ. Um, so honestly, there's a lot of good buying opportunities. And even if the stock market decides to just chill out and trade sideways for a little bit, you know, I mean, what are the odds that you're going to lose money in these growth stocks if you are a long term investor? If you've got a long term mindset um, and you want to hold on to these assets for a while, you know, and see what, what kind of gains you can make and, the unrealized profit, I believe, could just be huge on this one. I am a big believer in GGTTF, and it's a significant portion of my portfolio, even though it is such a, it's a penny stock and it's such a risky play. But I'm going to get into today why it's really not that risky um, and why I think that it's just super, super undervalued. And, and that's why I have it as such a big part of my portfolio is because I do believe it is so super undervalued. So check it out. Here is their website, um, GTEC Cannabis. Um, they've got a newsletter, all this stuff, uh, reports of financials, products, facilities. It's a pretty legit website. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've clicked on the news section um, just to show you guys what's been going on with this company over the past, you know, three months, six months, year, two years. I mean, the growth this company has in for it. So, so check it out. Um, they just reported earnings um, end of April. Um, I'll get to that in a second. They have uh, repaid their six million dollar loan and it eliminated every bit of debt that they have on their balance sheet so they're one of the few cannabis plays in any market the nasdaq the otc anything that has no debt like literally zero debt so that's pretty cool that that eliminates a lot of risk in of itself you know not only that but as of march 30th here march 11th march 10th basically all throughout march they were trying to figure out what kind of bought deal offering they can get as far as like an equity offering from a venture capitalist group um so what that means is that they basically took a bunch of venture capital money, added it to their balance sheet, um, and then diluted market share a little bit to where their market cap is sitting around 110, 120 million, I think, right now. Um, but it, it put 23 million, uh, 23 million Canadian on their balance sheet in the meantime. You know, so to you know, comparing the market cap to the overall, <clears throat> comparing their balance sheet cash to the overall market cap of the company is insane because even as of right now, I'll get into it further, but they have $19 million on their balance sheet with no debt and the market cap sitting right today since the pullback to 54 cents, 53 cents. Uh, it couldn't be more than 110, $115 million in market cap in this stock. So they're, what is that? One to six. So that's like 12 and a half percent or so of their market cap. They have it in cash in cash. So check this out. And, and you can see in the beginning, um, it looked like 15 mil, then the upside is 20 mil, and then the upside is 23 mil. And with all this being said, this was when uh, GTEC, the Canadian ticker GTEC, was at 80 cents. And right now it's at 65 cents. So this, this venture capitalist group went in and did an equity offering with GTEC. They, you know, mu uh, a mutual decision made, was made. A mutual decision was made to give them a significant portion of equity within the company at 80 cents and right now it's trading at 65 so you're actually getting a better deal buying this stock now a significantly better deal honestly than the venture capital group that that came in in mid-march 
you know, so I really do see this as a short term pullback in the stock and I'm buying more and I'm buying heavy right now. And if it goes below 50 cents, I will be buying a lot more. I might sell other assets, other stocks that I have just to put into this one because that's the conviction I have in G tech. Um, so check it out. Um, G tech enters global mark, global cannabis market with export agreement to Israel. Um, that's huge. I'll get into more in that in a second. Um, that was March 8th of this year. Then you go, let's see, they report earnings. They're, they, they, repaid another convertible debt in the beginning of March. They've got some warrants here, um, as well as this is this is the big ones here. GTech launches Green Tech Medical Cannabis e-commerce website. This e-commerce website has essentially allowed any Canadian with a medical card to buy medical cannabis and ship it directly to their door without any middleman. So this is a direct-to-consumer opportunity that GTech has, which is not usually available uh, with regards to liquor, cannabis, those types of uh, amenities or luxuries, I should say, um, in Canada, because it's usually very government oriented is the way that the government deals with um, alcohol, cannabis, things of that nature, is that they're the middleman themselves. Uh, the, the cultivator or the producer has to sell to the government and the government has to sell to the retailer, and at which time the government you know, hikes up the price 20, 25% or so, makes their margin. Um, but this is huge and it only happened in february 2nd 2021 is when they launched it so this is what three months ago yeah around three months ago that they launched this thing and it's going to be a game changer for them absolutely it will i mean being able to ship direct to consumer is huge for this company compared to what they have been relegated to in the past which has just been selling to the government and then marketing themselves to the retail stores as well as to the consumer a little bit but no never a direct consumer relationship which is which is key and which is insane um, for this company. So check it out. Um, also, December 16, 2020, they launched a black market and Tenzo pre-rolls, um, which I believe these sold out almost instantly, like the same day, I believe, if not the next day. Like they, like they, The demand for these things was insane. Um, so <clears throat> let's go back to this Israel agreement real quick. All right. GTEC enters global cannabis market with export agreement to Israel. Let's take a look. Okay. So it says it executes a multi-year agreement to export a minimum of 500 kilograms annually to Israel, one of the world's largest import markets for medical cannabis. Agreement enables GTech to enter into global distribution of its handcrafted ultra premium flour. Export deal demonstrates the demand for GTech products within Canada and globally. So that's basically it. I don't think I need to get into the rest of this article here essentially what it says is 500 kilograms annually minimum and i saw there's another place I, I, i'm not sure if it shows here or not but it said a uh, maximum right now of a of a thousand of a thousand kilograms yeah i'm not sure where it says it but basically minimum 500 kilograms annually to israel for the medical cannabis market there um to a thousand kilograms maximum annually and that could expand you know there's no there's nothing to say that a thousand kilograms is the only amount that they can export to israel but so check this out I want you, to, you guys to keep that in mind. Export a minimum a minimum of 500 kilograms annually. Okay? Check it out. This is from Quattro. Four days ago. Four. It says, GTEC Holdings reports a decline of 5.3% year over year in Q1 2021 revenues. Okay, so not good, right? It says, GTEC, GTTTF, posted revenues of $2.2 million, down 5.3% year over year in Q1 2021. It is on the backdrop of selling 342 kilograms of cannabis. So 342 kilograms of cannabis made them 2.2 mil. They're about to sell 500 minimum to Israel and 1,000 maximum kilograms annually. So you can see that's already more than one, that's already more than one quarter of revenue. That's like a quarter and a half of revenue, essentially, um, that they just added to their to their business. Okay, so so it's 